Super Gran, just 30 centimeters tall, one of the world's smallest and rarest foxes. An underground burrow houses her family, including two very special grandchildren. We'll call them Fred and Ginger. Their den is becoming crowded, and now for the first time, Fred ventures into the unknown outside world. Ginger is not far behind. They are just two of a litter of San Joaquin kit foxes. With fewer than 7,000 left, every kit fox counts. Fred and Ginger have been born into a dangerous world. In their path, predators, big and small, will haunt their every move. Fred is bold and inquisitive. Independent from the outset, Ginger, on the other hand, stays close to Grandma and the safety of the den. Their city address, Camino Media, opposite a cinema on the university campus. Tonight is Friday, party night. Bakersfield was a frontier town, drawing gold and oil prospectors. Later, it hosted some of the Hollywood greats. Today, it's fast food and fast living for its quarter of a million human inhabitants. After the last screening, when cinema traffic dies down, Adult foxes see what's been left behind. It's risky business. Even though the San Joaquin kid fox is protected. Poisoning, roadkill, dog attack, and gunfire, all real threats in this man-made world. It's May, and the cubs are spending more and more time above ground. It's a great neighborhood for foxes, but suburbs bring challenges from both the city and the surrounding countryside. Fred, Ginger, and the others must learn quickly how to fend for themselves. They are one of the fastest carnivores on Earth, but can they learn to manage their skills? Soon they'll have to strike out to find home ranges of their own. Increasingly, good territory means a move to the city. Bakersfield hosts around 100 fox families, close to 400 animals in all. These residents are protected by both federal and state laws. Kid foxes dig dens or acquire them after squirrel, badger or coyote owners have moved out. The warm, dark tunnels are a parasite heaven. Spending long periods underground give the fox family itchy feet. Regular grooming is vital to maintaining a healthy coat. If kit foxes stay in a den for too long, they become riddled with fleas and other pests. But for their neighbors, pests are a welcome treat. As soon as the foxes show signs of leaving, they muscle in. Pest exterminators, burrowing owls, follow hot on the heels of the foxes. The owls rarely make tunnels themselves, but use other animals. They return to the same breeding site year after year. 
Foxes will eat the occasional owl chick, but this time it's Ginger's turn to leave. The owls stake their claim, and even Grandma is sent packing. 